In part two of this multi-part series, I will be covering how you can recenter your maps with a place picker widget. And I'll also cover how you can create a new marker right from your Google map widget. Hey, Jasper from No More Codes here. I have built a location-based photography app called LightSource. And here's everything that I've learned about maps on Flutterflow. I'll be showing my learnings by using my app LightSource as a demo. And now let's get right into it. For static map, all you need is your map and also a place picker widget. And on your static map widget, click on the orange icon to select a variable. In this case, we're going to go with widget variable and place picker value. And ta-da, you are all set up actually, it's that simple. The end result should look something like this, where the user click on the place picker, they will imp input a value, they will search for a place and they got the place and then the map is updated automatically. For interactive Google map, we need the map, the place picker, and also a button, which is needed to trigger an on-tap action that is going to be move map center. And for the move map center action, the value, we're going to select the place picker value as the variable here. And the end result should look something like this. The user will click on the place picker, search for a place, and once the place is inputted in the place picker, we'll now use the recenter button to locate to the place picker value we just inserted here. Now, on the Light Source app, I have two ways for users to add a photo walk on the map. One is through a place picker on the create page, where they search for a location and use the lap long information to create a new pin on the map. This works, but sometimes users might not know exactly where, what to search for. So we don't want them to be inputting text. So maybe they just want to pick a location from the map and create a photo walk right from the interactive map. To achieve this functionality, there is a bit of a limitation from the Flutterflow side, which is that there's no way for me to add a temporary marker on the map by tapping on the map. So I can't really then pass the lat long information to create uh, a new location on the map. But I found that there is a parameter called current Google map center that I could use to allow users to add a photo walk from the center of the map. To set this all up, I added these floating button, which allows users to very quickly start the creation flow. For the action on this button, I added on tap navigate to create walk from map page. I have defined a page parameter to the create page called location, which I will pass the current Google map center to. And on the create page, the static map will be generating the map image based on this location page parameter. And this setup is pretty much done for better user experience to assist users to see exactly where the map center is. I added a supporting icon, which is stacked on top of the center of the map. And for debugging, I added a dialogue on, which is an on tap action on this map center. And it will set up a dialogue message value to show the current Google map center value. So this is really for me to debug and see if the, the, the actions, the values are working properly. The end result from this setup is like this. Users map will first default to users device location. The user can then search for a rough location to recenter to. And then once they are recentered, user can then move the map around to find exactly the spot that they would like to post from. Once decided, user can check the reading of the map location by tapping on the map center icon. And they can simply hit this create walk from map center button, which will then bring the users onto the create page straight away. And on the create page, the location on the static map will already be set up and ready to go. And there you have it. This is how you can recenter your maps with place picker widget and also how you can leverage map center to allow users to create new documents right from your interactive map. This is part two of everything that I've learned about maps on Flutterflow. If you want to see more of my Flutterflow learnings video where I share my uh, tips and tricks about Flutterflow and also share some tutorials on Flutterflow, consider subscribing. If you are in general very interested in no code and would like to follow some of my vlog content where I uh, post about me building products and growing them with no code, then consider subscribing as well. Until next time, ciao.